Hi and welcome to Snakeify, an interactive online course of Python 3 programming language. In this video I'll show you how to use this course to learn how to code. The course is available at snakeify.org. Python is a modern language that can be applied in many ways. You can edit videos using it, control robots, process large scientific datasets or launch websites. However, to do complex things, you need to familiarize yourself with the basics pretty deeply. That's where our course comes in, with more than a hundred problems that gradually level up your programming thinking. Let's see how to use this course. On the left side, you see the lessons. Let's go to the first one. Each lesson has several problems and a theoretical part. I recommend you to read or scheme the theoretical part first and then go and solve the problems. In the theory, we have many examples of source code that can be run interactively right in the browser. Let's look at the first one. As I press run, I ask Python interpreter on the server to run this source here, and it produces the output of the program. For instance, in the first line, I ask Python to add 5 and 10, which is 15, and then I pass this resulting value to the print function. The print function in Python outputs the data from the script. So I get a 15 on the first line of the output. Let's go to the next example and I'll show you the step-by-step -step feature. I run this program and then I use the forward button to iterate over the lines of program that Python is executing. After the first line, I'm printing the string what is your name here and it goes to the output. Now this example also has an input. We have a single line here and there is a way to read the data from the input in Python programs that is using the function input. As I execute the second line I read the string John right here and it's assigned to the variable called name. Now in the third line I concatenate two string constants in Python with the value of this variable name and so I produce the string hi John and print it to the output. Now you may ask how this online code visualization correlates with the real world of programming. Well in the real world what you do is you go to python.org this is the main site of Python community you go to downloads and you download the recent version of Python and install to your machine. Now, when you have this installed, you may run this interactive interpreter in your terminal and you can do the same things here. Then, not only you can use the interactive interpreter of Python, you can also write the scripts and run them. For instance, let's take the source, let's copy it, let's open the file program.py Insert the sort here, save it to the file system, then take that it's here, and now we run it using our interpreter. As we run it, the script does just the same thing. It now asks us to insert our name, and the program has stopped until we enter a line of data. As I print Vitali, that's my name, as I press the enter, I get the result. Pretty much in the same way that I did on the website. Alright, now let's go back to the website and let's go to the first problem and see if we can solve it. Each problem in our course has a statement, it has a code editor and it also has a number of tests. Each test is an input that will be given to your script and it comes along with the correct answer. That's the answer that your program expected to produce in the output. So, for in this problem, your program is asked to take three numbers from the input and print their sum. You have a stop here, and in the stop, we read only two numbers and print their sum. That is, if we run it, we see that it takes two and three, it saves it to variables a and b, and prints their sum, that is 5. Now we can modify this program so that it can read the third number, 
we add it to the result and we run it. Now we get the 11 and that's exactly what the correct answer for the first test is. We can also run the second test to see that it produces the answer that we expect here, that is 320. Now, if we are satisfied with how the program runs on the particular tests, we can run it simultaneously on all the tests. If we have all the tests green, that means we have correctly solved the problem, and we can go to the next one. The next problem in our course is a little bit harder. Here we have a right triangle, you probably remember that guy from the school, and we ask here to calculate its area based on a given base and height of it. Now here is the formula, we just need to somehow code it, this formula in a Python. So we need to read the base, for instance in the first test the base is 3 and the height is 5 and 3 times 5 is 15 and over 2 is 7.5 and we need to write a program that does this calculation and outputs 7.5. Now can you do these calculations in Python? Go to snakeify.org, practice and learn.